Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today we have another unboxing. Ha ha! Now, I do believe this is another one from uh, one of my subscribers who just became one of my patrons as well, uh, Unknown289, who has sent me several things, which I really appreciate. And he did tell me some more Big Finish stuff was coming, and this does say audio CD. So it looks like another thing from Big Finish. It's interesting because I'm feeling it, and it doesn't feel like a standard size. See, do you to me? Maybe it is. Maybe it's just the padding throwing me off, but it doesn't feel like a typical CD case, so I'm curious. And I'm pretty sure this is from Unknown. Uh, he's had several things he's sent to me, which I've been really appreciative of. Um, and appreciative to everyone who's sent stuff. Let's see if we can get in here real quick. I don't even think I need the scissors. Very nice. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's some... Uh, that's interesting. That's probably the actual CD. It looks like something else here, too. Well, that's interesting. Uh, looks like uh, a receipt. And then something from Vortex, Big Finish Magazine. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess this is something if you order it, this comes with it for free. Talking about it, that's pretty cool. That'll give me something neat to read. Uh... And I guess this is the CD. This was probably, he probably ordered this straight from Big Finish, I'm guessing. Man, that is, that is sealed in there. But I like the packaging because it, it had to come a long ways. It's from overseas. And so this does a really good job of protecting it. I see Sylvester McCoy. We have Dark Universe. I'm not familiar with this one. Although I do like Sylvester McCoy, and I definitely see it has Ace right there, an older version of Ace. And I love the fact that it's that version of McCoy, which looks like it's from the TV movie, because I love his TV movie outfit. One of the biggest crimes in Doctor Who is that we didn't get more time with this version of the Seventh Doctor, with that cool, longer hair and that uh, outfit, because I really like that look for him. I am not familiar with... The Eleven has a plan. Now, I know the Eleven is like an evil time lord that like every single one of his incarnations lives inside his head. He's like schizophrenic or something where all of his previous incarnations are all in there with the current one or something like that. It's really weird. Really weird. Okay. I'm not familiar with this one and I don't have my glasses to read it. Whichever one of them wins, the dark universe won't want to lose. A little hard to read without my glasses on. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. I am not familiar with this one. I don't know if it's newer or if it's older or when it came out. Because um, when I think of, like, Dark, I think of Dark Eyes. That's the one I always hear people talk about is Dark Eyes. It's supposed to be pretty good. Although I think I've heard this one mentioned before, and I think it's supposed to be pretty good. So I, I'm going to add this to the list. I love the fact my big finish catalog is growing a little. I have, uh, I have Jubilee. I have spare parts on digital. And then I have uh, The Light at the End, which I believe Unknown also sent me as well. And uh, Dark Universe now, so I'm looking forward to adding that to the shelf. I'm going to have, some, I'm gonna have uh, some big finish to be going through. I've listened to Jubilee and Spare Parts already and reviewed those, but I still need to listen to The Light at the End and now this one, which I love me some Seventh Doctor, so that'll be really nice. It looks like the Seventh Doctor toward the uh, end side of his life, uh, probably maybe not too long before he regenerates into eight. So that's pretty cool. So I want to say thank you to Unknown289 for everything you've sent so far and for joining the Patreon. I really like having you on there, uh, and I really appreciate um, everything you've done. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who has sent stuff, so I really, I really appreciate all the support from everyone, including two of my uh, high-end patrons, uh, Stephen Crane and The Fifth Doctor. I appreciate their continued support as well. If there's anything you would like to send me, my P.O. box is down in the description below, as is a link to my Patreon if you would like to support me that way, and a link to my Amazon wish list, which I update regularly. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.